In this week's Trending on Twyla, we continue our Twyla Harvest series with lots of great photos and videos that you shared with us on social media. And last week we asked for lots of cotton harvest posts and you guys certainly delivered. On Facebook, Jeff Gagel kicks off the 2017 Cotton Harvest in Concordia Parish under blue skies. In the same area, William Brown posted this photo of a trailer full of soybeans waiting on trucks. Ryan Wilkerson shared some beautiful photos and drone video from his cotton harvest in Rayville, Louisiana. Thanks for sharing all of this great footage with us, Ryan. Bridget Stagg also sent us this photo as her family finished their soybean harvest in St. Landry Parish. Richland State Bank shared a few photos from one of their customers' cotton harvest in Oak Grove saying, they're proud to serve our farmers since 1902. Alex Barham posted these adorable photos of her daughter in the cotton field with the caption, Proud of Daddy's Cotton. Lily Adams Wiley also took her children to a nearby cotton field and posted these photos on Facebook saying, Annual cotton picks with a discussion of thankfulness and realization of where our clothes come from. Great post, Lily. Our final Twyla Harvest post comes from Adam Colhern, who shares a pretty insightful message with his post. He says, it doesn't matter what crop you harvest or whether you harvest a crop at all. We were all put on this earth for a reason, and we all have a job to do. I, for one, am glad to be able to live and work in this great nation. If you're taking a knee today, just remember that millions of people of all races have died to give you the freedoms that you enjoy today. If you are standing in the aisles of your local Hobby Lobby complaining about home decor, please be aware that there are people of all races working the fields to harvest a product that puts clothes on your back. We are all in this fight together. Mm -hmm. And I think that that, that was a, a great way to sum up everything that's going on right now on social media. There's so mm -hmm. much divisiveness and there's so much negativity. And I thought that that was just a good, a good way to, to kind of sum all that up. And I think it's great that we're hearing this from farmers because everyone comes together where? At the table. Mm -hmm. We all come together for a great meal and it's the farmers and ranchers of this great country we need to thank and be thankful for to bring us together like that. And it's good because all farmers are working towards the same goal right now, you know, mm -hmm. regardless of race or political beliefs. Everybody's trying to put food on all of our tables. Absolutely. Now it's time for this week's Twyla Trivia. Last week our question was, which state does not produce a cotton crop? And the correct answer is C, West Virginia. This week our trivia question is, the average American owns about how many pairs of blue jeans? Is it A7, B15, or C40? To enter this week's trending trivia contest, simply log on to your Facebook or Twitter account and post your answer with the hashtag Twilight Trivia, or you can always submit your answer on our website at twilighttv.org. Forty? Really? Forty? I was My gonna closet say, can't hold that. I was going to say, I'm guessing yours is not that much. No, I, I'm lucky if I have like four that uh, survive, because every year I put a hole in them one way or another. I, I'm the biggest klutz on the planet, so that's why. I'll probably have 40 and maybe wear one. <laughs> well, that does it for this edition of Twyla. Be sure to join us next week when we show you how the Louisiana rice industry is helping feed the hungry. Until then, you can watch all of our stories online at twilatv.org, and be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and we're also posting a bunch of little extras here and there so you'll want to catch all of those. For all of us here at Twyla, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again right here next week.